Washington was music man, had the music fever and My name is John, and this is where my story begins. I was walking in the park one day when something very strange happened to me. It's very wild amusement called the Miss Bell Show, and when they came to town. Everything seemed normal, but then... What were these strange contraptions? <laughs> I had no idea, and my curiosity soon got me in trouble. By then, I definitely needed a drink, so I went by the old Green Tree Inn on Germantown Avenue. Excuse me. Could I have a drink, please? Are you kidding me? What I didn't know was that the old Green Tree Inn had stopped being an inn a long time ago and had been sold to the First United Methodist Church of Germantown in 1912. In 1930, they moved it 100 feet up the avenue to make room for their chapel. I couldn't for the life of me figure out what had happened, but then it hit me. Two thousand and ten, the paper said, 140 years in the future. I couldn't believe it. I took a walk up Germantown Avenue, which in my time looked something like this. It was mostly factories and tanneries in the 1870s. The shops today were far more colorful and varied in their products. Restaurants, banks, strange stores that sold trinkets. Everything was here. As I was walking down Walnut Lane, I saw something that amazed me. There was a bridge here. I had crossed the valley not long ago, and it had taken me half a day. The bridge was built between July 5, 1906 and October 14, 1908, and at its time, it was one of the largest pressed concrete bridges in the world. The bridge also linked Maniunk and Roxborough, which were industrious, to more residential Mount Airy. I went down to the R8 line. Railroads had come to Northwest Philadelphia in 1832, and it helped ferry workers from their jobs at the waterfront back to their homes in Chestnut Hill. The first trains were just beginning to come out in the 1800s. They were mostly steam powered, so these new shiny electric trains were fascinating. By this time I was getting a little homesick, so I walked back to the park to see if there was any way I could get back to my own time. There seemed to be no sign that anything had happened, but then something caught my eye. I could feel the energy coming off of this small white sphere. Had it worked? Was I back in my own time? It seemed it had. Yes, indeed it had, and I was back in the 1870s.